Hello everyone, in this After Effects tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a 3D logo animation in Adobe After Effects. So before starting this tutorial, if you are new to my channel, then please make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification. To make this video, I am going to use some stock footage. You can download them from the link in the video description. So now you open your After Effects, then go to Composition, create a new composition. I am going to rename it to Main and 8 second duration, then hit OK. Now let's create a new solid and I'm going to rename it to logo mask 1. We're going to make 3 mask for this animation. And let's duplicate this two time and rename it logo mask 3. And also rename it for logo text. Now go to Testator and copy your logo path from here. So I'm going to select this logo and for this time I'm going to select this part of this logo and then I'm going to select this part. So select this and then copy it. Then back to After Effects and select logo mask 1 and paste it to here. Just go to edit and paste it. Now you can go to Illustrator and copy this. It's depend on your logo. So that copy it back to after effects select logo mask 2 and paste here then go to again and copy this text back to after effects select this logo text and paste it here now turn off all of them and then again create a new solid and rename it element we are going to use element 3d plugin for this tutorial so hit ok now select this and go to effect and preset and search for element 3d so select this and apply it now go to custom layers and from here select custom text and mask then for path 1 select logo mask 1 and for path 2 select logo mask 2 and path 3 select the logo text now go to scene setup click on it and it will open our element 3d interface let's turn off the grid from here and then click on extrude and click this model and go here and change this path resolution to extreme and then select this right click and duplicate this model and select this below model go to here and from here select path 2 then drag this to something like this point now go to presets and then go to bevels physicals and I am going to select this drag this to here now let's change this color so I am going to use material and procedures from here select metal then open it and go here I am going to choose the metal black and apply it to here also open it and apply to here and for this select the metal black and for the last one I am going to use this now close them again duplicate it select this and then change the path 3 so this is our text here let's Bring it to this point now select this and change this to this now let's increase the size now let's create a new plate from here and change its size to 10 Now select this and make it something like this then select this and adjust it now again go to metal and apply something like this now select the plane model and go right click on your mouse then go to reflection mode and select mirror surface now select this and go to this point turn on the plate shadow and plate reflection 
now you can change the lighting from here now hit ok so we need to adjust our text size so let's again click on scene setup and this is our text let's rename it to text select this and then decrease its size now hit ok now right click on your mouse create a new camera now click here turn on the proportional grid and then select this camera and make it something like this now let's animate it select this element then go to group 1 then select auxiliary channel before that we need to change this so before that go to scene setup again now select this and right click on your mouse and select auxiliary channel 1 and for this select auxiliary channel 2 and for the text select channel 3 now hit ok now back to the auxiliary channels and click on this so we are going to animate it like this go to around 1 second and few frame forward create a keyframe here also go to channel 2 and create a keyframe and channel 3 then back to first frame let's make it something like this until we can see this this is ok now for this let's drag it like this point and now for the text ok now select this element then press u to open keyframes let's adjust it let's drag this keyframe to this point and then make this to here and change this to this point ok it's looking good now close this now let's create a background for this now let's create a background for this so go to project window and then import this for this you can download all of them from the link in the description and then drag this image to the timeline and put them to below all of this layer and let's adjust its scaling something like this now select this and pre-composite rename it bg for background and select move all attribute into the new composition then hit ok now select this press t and change it opacity to 30 percent now select this and create a new solid again drag this to here then select this ellipse tool and draw a shape like this and from here click on this invert and then change the mask feather now let's create a new light go to new and select light and from here select parallel light and then hit ok now let's drag this light to this point something like this now drag our particles to the timeline then select this go to effect and presets and search for tint apply it and pre-composite again make it quiet now let's create a layer here go to layer and create a new solid rename it flare hit ok now select this and go to effect and preset and search for optical flare apply it now from here change this render mode to transparent and then click on this option then go to preset browser lights and select this green spotlight and back to here turn off this then hit ok now zoom out and select this and bring this light to this point 
Now select this player, go to effect and preset again and search for first blur. Apply it and change this blur to 20 and mark on this repeat edge pixel. Maybe make it 25. Okay. Now go to layer, create a new adjustment layer. You select this, go to effect and preset and search for curves. Go to red. Make it something like this. And then again create another adjustment layer. And then select this, go to effect and preset and search for looks. Then from here click on this edit, then click here and select a preset. I'm going to use this, select this and then click here. Now let's change this intensity to 50, let's keep it 60. Then go to curves, let's make it little bit darker. and then again create another new adjustment layer and then again go to effect presets and search for color color balance apply it ok now select this element again and go to effect and preset and search for drop shadow. Apply it. Let's change this distance something like 10 and softness also 10 or 15. Select this flare and F4 make it 3D. Let's adjust it again. And then create a new null object and drag this layer to the null object then click here go to transform then go to something like this point and make scale something like this 130 create a keyframe here then go to this point and make it 100 percent and then go to here select this layer press T to open opacity create a keyframe here make it 0 and go to this point and make it 100% now let's see the preview so now let's render it to render it go to composition then add to render queue then from here click on close this and to format select quick time then if you have an audio then turn it on if you don't have then turn it off then hit ok now select your output folder save and then just click on the surrender button so this is how you can make a 3d log animation in adobe after effects so hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then make sure to like this video and comment how was this detail and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching